Hello everybody and welcome to today's Ravenbird review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Red String Trail Ride, which is the main attraction of today's update. But there are also some other things that we're going to take a look at today. We have something new in the bonus shop, the lifetime bonus shop, and it is the Cozy Camping Saddle. It does have full stats and yeah, I like it. I'll take it because I'm, I guess I am trying to collect the set. So uh, let's see what it looks like here. Yeah, I mean, it looks awful with the outfit that I'm wearing, but you know, it looks pretty cool. It's got some nice textures on it. Let's head on over to Fir Grove, which I think that's where the update is going to be. Okay, I don't know where in Fir Grove the Red String Trail Ride starts. I remember doing it last... I think it was last year. Either that or it was like earlier, but like whatever. I remember doing it, it was like a side quest or something, right? With like the three girls with Sonya and I don't know. Oh, okay, here we go. I see it. Okay, so I know it has to start down lower. No, oh, okay. Hang on a sec. Yeah, because those torches light up as you ride past them, but I want to start like right at the very beginning and like actually, you know, light all of them up at once. Is it down here? What the heck? I don't know where to start. Oh, and by the way, as you can see, I'm wearing my purple friendship shirt that I got from the bonus shop as well, because that's what the Red String Trail Ride is about. All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The Red String Trail Ride is a tradition of celebrating new connections that take place each spring in Jorvik. All riders are given a piece of red string to tie at the end of the trail. Legend says that by using this string together with someone you care about, the bond between you will last forever, whether between friends or between horse and rider. Completing this trail ride will give you 100 XP once a day. You can go on the trail ride as many times as you want, but the horse XP will only be rewarded the first time every day. All right, cool. All right, so we got a piece of red string and there is the first uh, torch being lit up. So we're gonna trot along here and the trail ride and I have seen some videos of people like actually going on the trail ride and finding some different things along the way. So uh, we're gonna definitely check all of those out. And like I mentioned earlier, the torches here, they light up as you ride past them. So that's pretty cool. I remember this, the Red String Trail Ride, the quests, like there was little mini quests in between, like there was a fox or something. No, a bunch of foxes you had to save and like sheep you had to herd and stuff like that. So, I mean, that was cool, I guess, but it, it just was, I don't know, it took a long time. Whoa, there's a sheep right here. Hello, sheep. What is your name? Solar? Solaire? Solaire the sheep. Hello. <laughs> I love sheep. They're really cute. What do you say? But <laughs> Oh, your eyes are blue. Oh my god. Wait, I want to I want to look at you. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, I love you, sheep. Is that all you say? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you illuminated? That's what I want to know. I guess you're a very special sheep since you have a name and everything. All right, let's continue with our trail ride up here. Do we ever see Solaire anywhere else? Like, I have no idea where Solaire is from or like if there's a quest related to it. I don't know. Wait, there's a sleeping fox up here. Wait, can I go up here? I want to go see if I can like pet the fox or something. Did I just click on you? Wait, I can't reach you. Yes, I'm petting the fox. Oh, and I'm levitating in the air while I do it, but that's okay. Uh, what a cute little fox. All right, get up. So as we go further and further up this mountain in Fir Grove, you get to see more of Jorvik from like a bird's eye view. And I really like like just, I don't know, the vastness of Jorvik. Like even just looking from here, it, it looks great. All right, there's like another beam of light up here. So we're gonna check out with the, oh, there's a, why is there a truck here? Oh my gosh. And here's another beautiful view of Jorvik overlooking the Silverglade Castle. And I think that's Fort Pinta, the Fort Pinta uh, lighthouse over here. Whoa, okay, what's going on with, oh, it's raining. Oh my gosh. Okay, that makes sense since we're at a higher elevation that it would be raining. Oh, but that's cool. Oh, there's some people right here. What's going on? All right. Oh, is it another fox? Yeah, I think it's another fox. Wait, is it two foxes? Wait, why is there a cat? Oh, the cat belongs to somebody. Never mind, I thought there was just a random cat right here. Uh, okay, but there's this um, gray and black fox here. That's pretty cool. All right, and the rain is going away. Oh, I remember this part of the quest. Yeah, from last time we had to help. Oh, what was her name? Try to get ac across this bridge because she was afraid of like, of like heights or something or falling. Let's see. Oh, there's a person over here. We have, oh, Cora and Beeper. All right, let's see what they have to say. Do not disturb the animals on this trail. They were here first and will remain here all year round. Yeah, that's a really good piece of advice. You should really try to avoid interacting with wild animals. I went to the forest specifically to not talk to people. While this trail is going on, it's impossible to properly commune with nature. 
Okay, anything else? Oh, okay. So, yeah, I mean, nature is really cool. It can be really healing and really therapeutic for some people. Why are there so many people across here? Doesn't the trail go that way? Okay, I see something over here. All this blue stuff. I don't know what that is. Is that the red string? Like, the tent? Not the tent, but like, yeah, here we go. Okay, I see it now. Ooh, you know, I really like these lanterns here. I bet this would look even better if you did the trail at nighttime, and plus, like, the fire here on the torches, too, would look good during the nighttime. So, yeah, I feel like I should have done this at night, but oh well. All right, so here we finally are at the Red String Trail Ride Campground, and we're gonna take out our Red String here. Where should I put it? Hmm, I don't know. It's cool to do it at the, like, the entrance of this trail here, but... I don't know, I guess we'll just put it right here. Right here. Right, right there. Okay. <laughs> it took a minute for it to turn green so I could put it on there. Alright, can I sit down at this campground and like do anything? Oh, I can sit down. Wait, I can't sit down. <laughs> Wait, sit down. Sit down. Yes. Alright, let's enjoy the fire for a bit. Oh, there's apples here. Wouldn't it be funny if Potato Chip could like walk over here and like steal an apple? I think that'd be really funny. Let's see, there's some nice tents here with- those patches are cute. I think I like those a lot. And then, what is this? Oh, it's like a f oh picnic baskets. I guess what that is. Oh, okay. So this is another thing. Telescopes. All right. So this is overlooking. Wait, why did it turn to a rock? <laughs> oh my god, somebody fell. But yeah, it was a nice fir grove, and then it just came over here. Hmm. I don't know. All right, let's go back to my horse and let's look for more telescopes because I think that's another cool thing. Oh wait, okay, there's a telescope down here and there are the soul riders right there. All right, let's take a look through this telescope, kind of overlooking the Dino Valley kind of areas. I think this is Veildale down here, so let's take a look. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the Silver Song River and then uh, Dino Valley is like right up this hill. Can I move this camera or what? Because it was like Oh, okay, so you have to drag your mouse, like you don't click or anything, you just like pull the mouse upward and then you can change the view. Okay, that's pretty cool. How far up can this go? Alright, pretty much up to the peaks of Dino Valley. And let's see how... Is it working? It's like not going down. Wait. I don't know, it worked going up, but like not going down so much. That's really strange. Alright, let's take a another look over here. There's another telescope right here. And wait a minute, I swear I saw like Linda or something. All right, so this is overlooking Veildale Lake. And if we pan our camera, our viewfinder basically up here. That's a little glitchy, but oh well. And we're taking a look at like, probably this is the highest peak of like Dino Valley area. Okay, the mouse is working now. So if we go down even more, let's see. I guess we're still gonna see Veildale Lake, but like maybe a little bit lower than that. Yeah, okay, so we're getting to see like the sandy parts of Veildale Lake and the water itself, which is really nice. All right, so let's talk to Maya and Alex. Oh, hey, you're here too. Yes, of course. The view from here is really something else, isn't it? Seeing everything that we're fighting to protect really puts things into perspective. Well, yeah, I can understand that because like this is such beautiful landscape. You want to really protect the nature that you've inhabited. I really wanted to get away from everything for a while. I just wanted to do some normal, non-life-threatening horse activities together with Maya. You two want to head over to the campfire? I brought marshmallows up here and I will not allow them to remain untoasted for much longer. <laughs> Okay, Maya. Uh, I'd like to stay here a little while longer. I don't get away from the stables nearly often enough and want to enjoy every little bit of this moment while I can. That's nice, Maya. S'mores are an important part of the experience too, especially when yours truly here is getting hungry. Okay, here's the thing. I personally don't really like s'mores that much. Okay, haha, just give me another minute. You'll live. Remember, remember to care for your horse at the end of the trail ride. Potato chip carried you all this way up here, so a nice reward should be in order. Okay, does that mean I can take an apple from over here at the campsite and, like, give it to him? <laughs> That'd be nice. Okay, Maya says, The view is incredible, and if you use one of those spy glasses, you can see even further. Okay, I guess maybe... Okay, Lynx is a tricky horse. If I don't keep an eye on him at all times, who knows what kind of mischief he'll get up to. <laughs> Fortunately, Tin Can is willing enough to go... Uh, is willing to help look after Lynx up here. He's got a lot of experience babysitting troublemakers by now. <laughs> That's funny. Alex says, You're one to talk. Oh, what a nice exchange. Me, Alex, and Tiki all tied up our red strings at the end of the trail, but Lynx ended up chewing his string into pieces. Aw, Lynx. He's a big clown, but I love him anyway. Alright, so let's talk to Meteor and Lynx over here. 
I tried talking to Lynx, but it seems like he's not much for intelligent conversation. Aw. Kinda reminds me of Alex, really. Oh my god. Hey, I heard that. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, you can't click on Lynx, but Lynx is still cute, I guess. I know there's more stuff, I just don't know where it is. Like, this is the campsite over here. And then we pass through there to get over here. So let's go back to the log area. I wonder if we go this way, if this is anything. I know there's other stuff up here. I've been watching other people's videos and like I've seen what's been going on. So maybe there's like an alternate path that I didn't find. Yeah, there's a torch over here that I didn't see. All right, so let's go right here. But then where's the next one? I don't see where the next one is. Okay, I know for sure that there is more stuff to do and like see. I don't know where- how people found this stuff. Alright, can I go up these rocks? Where is everything? I saw Yidris on the trail, I saw a cow being like lifted up into into orbit, and like I saw Linda, but I didn't see Linda when I started my ride. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the different stuff that is supposed to appear changes every day that you do the trail ride, so maybe that's what's going on. I have no idea. Yeah, I can't find anything right now, so I think we're just gonna go check out the last part of this update, which is in Starshine Ranch, because they have some new tack there. So let's head on over to Starshine Ranch. All right, here we go. The new stuff is at the Hackamores and More shop, right over here next to the American Quarter Horses. And let's see. All right, so we have a bunch of new hats, and ooh, we have boots and tack. So far, like from what I can tell, I think I'd like this hat. I'm not gonna get it though. I'm not, I'm not gonna get anything from the shop right now, but yeah, I like these colors too. It's nice, like muted colors. Uh, let's see, sort of dusted russet hat. It's got like a really like round top there. That's pretty cool. Let's see, and then the Daisy Adder hat. I, you know what? I like this one. It kind of honestly reminds me of Noir a little bit. All right, now we're gonna look at the boots. Yeah, those are cool. They kind of match potato chips color a little bit. And then these kind of match the... It kind of matches this hat. So let's see. These boots are a little taller. And I yeah, I like these. These are nice. Um, Brown roper boots. And then black Bart's boots. These kind of look silver, not black. I don't know. But it still looks cool. And then saddle time. A white saddle with white front boots. Okay, the front boots look really nice. I like those. And then, the, the, ooh, this saddle. Okay, I really like this saddle. And it's max stats as well. If I had to get anything today, I would probably get the front boots. Yeah, I do like them. And I think, like, if I were to do cross-country or venting more, I'd probably buy them. And then this saddle. This saddle looks really red. And this one is like the... No, it's not... The, wait a minute. Is this the cheapest saddle here? Yeah, this one is the cheapest new saddle here. Yeah, it just looks too red for me. I don't know. And then the open front boots are kind of the same way. But uh, this saddle, I think, is a little more subdued than this one, so I like like this one better. Ooh, these front boots look nice as well. Okay, so like if I was going to get anything today, I'd probably get these dark brown front boots, these black front boots, and I did like this hat, I think. Or was it this one? I don't remember. But uh, yeah, so those are the new tech updates that are in Starshine Ranch. And uh, I think that is going to do it for today's video. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching today's Ravenbird review of the Red String Trail Ride and the new tack in Starshine Ranch. Um, I really enjoyed the Red String Trail Ride, although some of the elements that I had seen in other people's videos were not present for me. And like I mentioned earlier, maybe this is a thing where like every day that you do the trail ride on a different day that you'll see the different things that I mentioned earlier. So from a basic like first walkthrough of the trail, I thought it was pretty cool because we got to pet some foxes and we got to see some nice views all over Jorvik. So yeah, I would definitely give this event a 9 out of 10. All right, well, with that being said, I will see everybody in my next video. Bye!